growing up No Pirellis Me and my girls, we hopping out in foreign things Prime time, my nigga, my time Tryna get at me, but who ain't nigga late in line? We ain't come here for this Most of these bitches ain't built like this Gang, it's Princess Leia. I'm back with another video. So today, you guys, I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to stay still because I'm so excited. So I want to come on here and tell y'all, girl, I'm engaged. Hi. What you say? Oh, it's a fiance. Oh my God, you guys. So I just wanted to come on here really quick because I know I haven't posted in a while. But y'all has been so much going on with me and my wonderful world. The wonderful world of princess. Y'all, I have even tried a new hairstyle and did so many new things with my life. Before we even get into the video, I want y'all to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like, comment if you will, if it resonates with you, girl, comment. Comment, I like when y'all comment. So I am engaged now. Um, I don't even know where to start. But if y'all are following my couple's channel, Princess Employ, y'all can follow the entire journey on there and how the engagement was done. It was super duper beautiful. A day that I will never forget. This was so big to me just because like, nobody's ever done anything like this before for me. And I'm so happy with Flo. Like, I'm so happy with the person that I'm with. It started off on business terms, like strictly. Like, you could have never told me that I would be with this guy. Like, seriously. When I first like, I guess realized that I started liking him honestly I did not was not looking for nobody it was not you know interested in being in a relationship or none of that stuff I was just kind of like trying to be to myself mind my business just the first beginning of our, our relationship was just strictly friends music um he actually came out to me first that he was interested in me and I don't even feel like going into the whole story but all that matters is that we engaged now we started off where we started off and now we here and the engagement was so freaking beautiful y'all he set it up so nice him and my management got together with some of my friends and they all made it a very special day for me i think what it is for me is that like i'm still kind of like in those like squiggly cute stages of it because it's just like oh my god i'm a fiance oh my god like when do i start planning a wedding what do i do i don't know like what to do like i'm just froze i'm stuck i'm just still stuck in that whole like stage of I'm a fiance my guy, my guy. that I can't even move on to the next step like I can't move on to the next step it's like I want to embrace this moment for as long as I can because it's like you know when you first start dating somebody and it's like y'all are just so cute everything is just so new and fresh and it's just like oh my god that's my boyfriend like oh my god it's just like a cute connection it's like you still blush at each other y'all still have like that fire and it's a new fire it's a new flame that has come about and that's kind of where i'm at with it i'm still like just shock on that you know what i'm saying and it's just like let me just kind of like lay and waddle around in this this vibe for now for just a little bit and then i can start moving on so okay i'm tired of that i'm tired of being a fiance let's just move on to a wedding let's get it let's do it um i know that i do want a big wedding um i know a lot of my friends are excited when we made the announcement a lot of people were surprised we did tell some people like family and friends prior to um you know the engagement because we put the engagement announcement out on youtube way later like after the new year um so nobody really knew um on youtube but a lot of our friends and family knew um so it was exciting to be able to like share that news and just hear everybody's reaction and get everybody's congratulations and everybody's blessings and things like that and so here i am now my whole fiance out here y'all and i'm just enjoying it i'm enjoying life you know um i'm just enjoying all of my blessings i feel like i've been so freaking blessed and i've been in such a good space and i've learned and i've grown so much like it's it's amazing that you know how you know growth really can bring about change in your life and blessings in your life and just having Yahweh and being able to connect to a higher you um, and always acknowledging that you know Yahweh God is the author of all things and faith without works is dead 
you know and i i live by these scriptures every day so it's like what what when i what i mean what it means to me um to even hear those words and embrace those words is you know Faith without works is dead. So y'all is not gonna make anything happen for, for you unless you make it happen for you. Because we all have a piece of God in us and we it's important that we acknowledge that. Because I feel like we take so much from ourselves. We take so much away from ourselves as people. And we are, we're always so belittled by other people that we don't never give ourselves the honor of being a God. You know, we're, we don't never give ourselves that honor. And so what that also means is you manifest, you can manifest things into your life with the help of asking Yahweh to, you know, bless these things in your life, place these things in your life, remove these things from your, from your life. But you also have to put forth the steps to doing so. And so with that being said, I feel like I've made, I've made myself, <clears throat> excuse me y'all. I got a cold. So like, I don't know why when you get a cold, why do you burp so much? Oh my God, I can't stand that. <clears throat> Lord. So like, what was I saying? Golly. When you step into um, somebody else that can recognize the Yahweh in you, the God in you, the beauty in you, the grace in you, and they honor that and they respect that and they accept that so much. And it's like, for somebody to be able to do that, it's like, this is my person. This is my soulmate. This is my, you know what I'm saying? This is my like mind. You know what I mean? It's always important to find like minds, no matter if it's a friend, a business partner, uh, a spouse, uh, a part, like just, it's always important to find people with like minds. And I always, since I've disconnected from a lot of people that weren't like minds, I've become to recognize myself connecting with more people that are like minds. And it's hard because everybody wants to attach to you. And it's like, I cannot, I can't give myself to you. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I have to preserve myself for those that deserve it. And I feel like that's been my journey throughout my whole life. You know, it's been a attach and detach and, you know, attach, a reattach and a detach. It's like a whole, like, process that goes on throughout life that, you know, eventually you have to fully detach from something in order to make yourself available for somebody that's going to actually appreciate you. Um, and that's just where I'm, at, where I'm at. I feel like Flo, he recognized that in me. Like he recognized something special in me that even I didn't see and nobody else can show me. Nobody else can point it out. And ever since I met him, he always told me I'm beautiful. He tells me that every day. Like I just walked in the room. Um, he was down there um, in the studio and I walked in. He's like, Hey, beautiful. And it's just like, he tells me that every day. It's like, he tells me that in a way where it's like, I'm a new woman to him all the time. Like each time he see me, I'm like, I'm never old to him. Um, and that's kind of like where our relationship has always been. Like, it's just like, we never get tired of each other. Um, he's always just so respectful. And yeah, I mean, we're not the perfect couple. We do get on each other's nerves. Trust me, that boy get on my nerves. But at the same time, when I look down into, you know, the depths of our relationship i feel like he gives me everything that i want <laughs> like not just financially not just physically but emotion like emotionally and he makes me feel good um i've never really had that like someone actually tell me i'm beautiful every day even when i'm feeling down and like right now i'm sick i got a cold and i just feel so i told him earlier like, i feel so snotty like i walked down there my hair was all over the place i looked a hot ass mess and he was like, oh, you, you're so beautiful. Like, and, the, and it was so crazy because I walk, I was, he was in the garage and I walked in the garage and like the light was hitting me in a certain way. And I, you know, sometimes when light hits you, you kind of feel like, oh, maybe I'm pretty. Oh, the light hits me. Oh shit. Like you feel like, you know, you might have something going on or whatever. And so when I walked in, he was just like, oh, he's so beautiful. And I'm like, boy, I look a hot ass mess. Like, I don't know what you see. You might be seeing that light hit me or something, but you know, it was just like, and I just, I'm sick too, so I'm just, I just feel so snotty and just sick and just, oh, like, but he just made me feel so good and I continue to just like, cause he know my day I got in the bed and I'm just, I'm just about to sleep all day because I'm just so sick and I hate feeling like this. He came in there, he bought me breakfast. Um, he told me that he hoped that I feel better. He just kept telling me that throughout the whole day and, and eventually I just started to feel better. Sometimes when people tell you things, you know, it, it sticks with you. You know what I'm saying? You you have to keep positive people around you. Like I said, it doesn't always have to be just your boyfriend or your husband or, 
even your fiance or somebody that you're interested in, your friends, your family. It doesn't have to be, you know, it could be anybody. It could be somebody walking down the street telling you, hey, you're so beautiful. Oh my God, you have a nice smile. Like those things actually mean a lot to people because we're people, we have feelings and these things program in us. Like it, it programs into our subconscious mind. So like we always remember these things. And I tell my girls, even my girls, I tell them they're beautiful every day when they go to school. You girls are beautiful. You got, you know, you're so cute. You're beautiful. And, you know, I was never told that growing up. I, I don't recall ever being told, oh my God, you're beautiful. Like my parents didn't really tell me that, even though they might've felt that way or whatever. Sometimes people have different ways of embracing you and different ways of showing you love. And I had never felt love the way that he shows me love. And, you know, and I just, I just love the feeling. I love the way that he makes me feel. I love the way he treats my girls. He's so, so good to them. Um, you know, <clears throat> and it's just, I can definitely see us taking these next steps. Um, he fits into my family very well. They all like him. Um, well, at least I think they do. Um, <clears throat> his family loves me. I love his family. So that's that's like a major, you know, because when you marry somebody, excuse me, when you marry somebody, God damn, when you marry somebody, you marry to their family. So you have you're kind of connected to them for life, like. For lifers you know what I'm saying so it's important to be able to build those type of bonds with families and stuff like that so we always make sure like around certain times whenever we get time the opportunity to always go visit family his family or my family um, because it just it builds bonds and it builds support so yeah I'm just kind of like still shocked I'm still like every day I'm just like oh my god like I'm a princess and I'm living in like this fairy tale or not let me stop but it does feel like you know amazing at my age and just you know being able to experience something like this um and it's just a blessing like I said I have asked Yahweh for a lot of things I always pray and just ask him you know to bless me with good people like make sure that Bless me with people that love me, that honor me, that appreciate me, that value me, and allow me to be something in their life as well. Because you don't always just want to take, 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 take. You want to make sure you are able to give. It's always more blessed to give than to receive. Um, so you always have to reciprocate what you what you receive. You have to be able to give that back in, in whatever way you can. Be genuine about it. Um, give back. If you don't feel like somebody is worthy of your giving, don't. Because then you find yourself trying to please people that don't give a damn about you. And that's where you start to get into drama and people that don't respect you, people that's dragging your name. And trust me, I've been there and done that. And I've cut those people off and they're no longer around. No longer available. Access denied. That's the type of time I'm on. I have been super duper big on respect and people that value me because I love people I've always been a people person you guys anybody my grandmother my ema my mom they have stories on me for days as to how much I've always loved people love helping people love making friends always been social never just been to myself like anti-social or just oh not not want to be around people oh, 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 oh. Like I've never been, like I've always been just so open and just, because I feel like you can never help somebody if you're not open to help. And I've met a lot of people throughout my life because, just because I'm just so social. And, it, and it's good to be social. You have to meet friends. You have to meet friends and influence people. You have to win people. Um, because that's how you get opportunities. That's how you get opportunity to find somebody to love. You know, to find your soulmate. Find good friends. Find good people. Find good business partners. Find good people that you trust. You know, and I know it's hard to be social these days. So I feel like the internet and social media has completely taken over the game. And it's hard to really meet people that are genuine because everybody put on this front. That's why a <laughs> If y'all don't believe me, y'all go check for yourself, baby. Do your homework on the princess because this is all facts. I don't really post that much. Y'all can go on my Instagram page. Y'all see my last picture is probably from like, shoot, 
maybe September. I don't know. What was the last time I posted on Instagram, y'all? I don't really post at all. Um, Facebook, never. Don't never post on there, barely. Um, the last time I posted was October 11th. We're in 2022, and it's January. That was like, what, three months ago? Um, and I'm a social media influencer. I'm an influencer. Like, this is what I do. Like, and I just don't care to always get dressed up and put on makeup and wear a bag with some nice shoes with my nails under my hair i don't always want to be that because like i don't feel like that's me all the time like i'm a mother you know i you know i like to be at home a lot of times i just i'm just not i'm not gonna portray myself as something that i'm not so um a lot of times when i post on facebook it's mainly just my girls like something that's important like you know an accomplishment maybe my girls got a's on the airport card or you know things like that i post my engagement on there but i don't really post a lot of my life at all um i just don't i like to be able to enjoy what i have for me to me um and i don't feel like everybody deserves to see that i just don't and you know i post on my stories every now and then maybe post some stuff on there or whatever but i'm not really just big on just showing off i'm just not um even on here y'all don't see me post a lot on my personal channel like when i first started my personal channel i was taking off y'all i could be so much further now i feel like maybe it's it's a good thing and a bad thing because i feel like it could be a setback in a way because my channel could be so much bigger if i posted more and i did more on here but it's just like i have so much that goes on in my life in the background and things that go on that i just i just choose to keep to myself and that's just how i've always been and as far as social media goes now in the real world like i can really talk to people i can go up to people and talk to them have a good conversation you know um girls are always coming up to me like hey oh my god i like your hair or just always compliment me and i'm always i always have a smile on my face i'm always you know especially women i'm always embracing women i'm always you know telling them they're beautiful because these are things that i'm told every day so i want to be able to share that same energy with other women even kids when i see kids oh my god he's so cute like i love kids so i'm always i always can naturally find a way to start a conversation with somebody um and not be nervous or weird or awkward or like you know what i'm saying um and you just meet a lot of good people like that you do you just have to know how to control and lever you know certain things and certain people certain energies you just gotta know like when that's come sometimes everybody ain't right you know what i'm saying and people are not the same as they used to be so you're not gonna get the same quality of people that you got back in 2001 2002 baby you know so it's just different but with my engagement i feel like i deserve it um i feel like you know i have like i said i've grown so much as a woman and i've I, I, I guess I made myself worthy of being someone's wife and someone actually appreciating, you know, me as their wife and, and being being honored and being, you know, happy, excited to, to be like, that's my wife. It's just, it's amazing. It's an amazing feeling. And we literally do everything together from making money together to, to just going out together. Everything is done together as one. Like we're never just trying to just separate you know ourselves from one another um there's always a level of space there some you know whatever is needed level of respect when it comes to like okay i need some me time i need some time with the girls and vice versa whenever he needs some him time time with his boys like right now he's in the studio i'm here recording like we have that separation but it's always in moderation it's not just like okay you know it's always like communication there that's another thing communication is big and i'm just giving y'all tips on if you're interested in you know if you're with somebody that you love and you look for getting engaged um and this goes out to men and women because a lot of men you know a man knows when he wants to or if he wants to marry a woman so um whatever their standards are i mean i can't really tell you exactly what to do um by book there is no you know right or wrong way to be just be you um just be you embrace yourself love yourself I feel like when I first met Flo, I was very raw <laughs> and uncut. Like, I didn't care. Like, just my mouth was just so reckless. And it was just because I just came from a very dark place at the time. And I didn't give a fuck what nobody said. I was just, like, on a rampage. Like, I was coming for anything. Anybody. 
and being with him you know he was he was in a he was in a dark space too he he, he calmed down a lot i feel like we actually mellowed, mellowed each other out a lot and that's what being a partner having a partner is good for is because when y'all have you know imperfections and, and character flaws that y'all both need to work on like y'all can help each other do that y'all can help lift each other up out of out of bad places um and we both came from very you know dark places and that and that was a good thing that we were able to recognize that and actually help each other we helped each other so much and when somebody can help you do that without trying to damage your character or damage your feelings or judge you for everything that you do then they're they're actually showing you love but not being harsh about it because sometimes we're stubborn people and we don't want to change we don't like to change we don't like the idea of change but if you want to be with somebody you have to be able to accommodate you know what I'm saying? Like their feelings. You know what I'm saying? They gotta be able vice versa. It's all comprom it's all compromising. And you you just both have to make changes together. It's not ever one sided, ever one sided. I made so many changes. He's made so many changes. And so when like I said, when you can find somebody that can help you change and, and recognize and identify those flaws within yourself, um they're for you. And if you can feel like yourself around them without walking on eggshells or without feeling like, oh damn, I gotta be this perfect girl or else he's gonna come for me or he's not gonna love me today or, you know, then that's not the person for you. You know, there's somebody for everybody. And you, if you have to bend over backwards for somebody that's, that's just always gonna keep bending you backwards more and beating you down to the ground, it's just like, you're taking every, the every little bit of yourself. You're, you're, you're being torn into pieces and you don't even, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, don't let nobody tear you apart because the next person, you know, it's going to be hard for them to put that together. I feel like I was broken in a lot of ways and Flo definitely helped put me back together. Um, and so like, I feel like I can just be myself. I can be relatable. He understands me. Um, he listens to me. There's no judgment. Like he understands, even if he doesn't like something, He's always finding solutions that won't offend me. You feel what I'm saying? And I feel like that is that is like so acceptable to me. <laughs> like so, you know, find you somebody if you're you know in love or if you're looking for love. I never thought that I would be with a white guy. <laughs> like I never, and I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I've never been against interracial dating. Um, I actually had a white boyfriend when I was like 12, 13 years old. His name was Matt. It's funny because his brother's name is Matt. But his name was Matt. He lived in Orlando. When I lived in Orlando, I dated him for a, a while. His family liked me. Um, it was kind of like my summer boyfriend because over the summers, I was I would go over to my friend's house, um, Ebony. We, we used to cheerlead together and we went to school together. Um, and she was my best friend. And um, her, it was a guy in her neighborhood. He used to drive around this little Miata. He used to steal his, um, his mom and dad's Miata. He was like probably like 15 or whatever. And... Um, yeah, me and him, we, we we kicked it. You know what I'm saying? It was my boyfriend, my little my little yeah yeah. <laughs> so um, I dated him. I dated a mixed boy in middle school. His name was Brandon. He had really pretty eyes, girl. He was so cute. He was mixed with white and black. We dated for a little bit. I dated a Hispanic guy. His name was Jonathan. He had braces, girl. He was so cute, girl. We rode on the same bus. I think I was in the seventh grade. He was in eighth grade. Not not only that, like I have a lot of interracial and throughout my whole family um you know from my sister she has a you know i always mention her because you know me and my sister are like in a lot of ways um i never thought that me and her had like any type of similarities as far as men but you know i always kind of value her in her style i love her style and um she has uh her husband is is white and she they have children together um as well as my brother um my uncles have had you know white women um in a, you know um women from other cultures i always i've never really liked the idea of you know people that try to judge people who date outside their race. I feel like love is love. If you if you can identify love in somebody, then that's for you. Like, if I can't find love in my race, then what do I do? Just not, just not be with nobody? Like, you know, I feel like I've dated enough to see, you know, 
what's what. And not to say that, you know, I don't like black men. I love black men. That's not, I mean, my children's father is black. Um, but it's just, the, it's not, it's not whether you're black or white. It's just who you are as a person. It's, it's the character. Um, that's what I've always looked at. I've never, I've never been with the skin color games. I was never taught to be racist or I was never taught to hate outside of my race. Um, I live in a multicultural neighborhood. Um, my children go to a multicultural school. I want them to be able to experience all different kinds of cultures because that's how you learn new things. You learn about other cultures and then you could teach your culture to these people, you know, because I'm, I'm Hebrew, like I'm Hebrew Israelite and in our culture, you know, we weren't taught to have any type of disrespect for white people. Like we honored all, we honored all nations to come and serve Yahweh and, and rejoice. You know what I'm saying? It was never about, oh, you white, you can't come over here. Like, that is the worst mentality to have. And, you know, we don't stop that kind of mentality. Then I feel like we'll never become powerful people. We'll always just be here. There's never any elevation. It's just like, oh, well, we're just these kind of people. We only just stick to this kind. That's it. You know, but we go and shop. At the white people's stores, we go and we, we buy the white people clothes and we buy white people's food and, you know, we pump gas at the, the Arabs um, gas stations and, you know, we eat Chinese people food and so it's just like, how can we be so against people that we surround ourselves and involve ourselves with every day of our life? Like, it just don't make sense to, to, to only single out love when it comes to somebody dating out of their race when we spend money with people outside of our race every day. So it's like, I don't really want to hear the jabs about, you know, oh, you shouldn't date, da, 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 da. I mean, when I first started dating Flo, you know, it, I was getting a lot of that. We were getting a lot of that. But I feel like people know not to try us at this point because it's like, you're not going to stop us just because you don't like it. It's a lot of things I don't like. I'm not about to go around here spreading hate, spreading negative energy just because I don't like something. If I don't like if I don't like something, I don't pay any mind to it. Like, why are you so indulged with who I'm fucking, who I love, who who I'm spending time with, who whining and dining me? Why are you so intrigued by what goes on in my world? Like, why? I just don't understand why people are so, when it comes to just being in love with somebody, why are you so concerned? Like, it just boggles me. But anyways, y'all. So I just wanted to share that with y'all. I'm engaged. I love my man. I love our relationship. I'm about to go down here right now. We're about to spend some time together, whatever the case may be. Um, and I guess that's it, y'all. I ain't really got much else to say or whatever. So I'll see y'all. I'll see y'all in my next video. You cannot sip with us. Let me hear you say, Pretty girl, pretty girl gang. Pretty girl, pretty girl gang. All on my bad bitches. Pretty girls, pretty girls. Let me hear you say, Pretty girl, pretty girl gang. Pretty girl, pretty girl gang. Cause most of these girls is average. And me and my girls, we the baddest. Pretty girl.